Welcome to the John and Heidi Show podcast. John and Heidi. Here's John and Heidi. Today is a special day, Heidi. Do you know what today is? What is today, John? I thought you'd never ask, Heidi. It is Friday, the twenty second uh, day of September, National States and Capitals Day today. I don't know if our son still knows every state and capital, but at one point he knew all. Oh, of them. I know he does. He probably does. Yeah, he does. National Online Recovery Day today. National Girls Night. National White Chocolate Day. You know, I have never met a chocolate I'm, I don't like. Well, I'm not a huge fan of white chocolate. Mm, I am. National Centurions Day. This is uh, people who are over the uh, age of 100. So happy birthday to all of you folks. Uh, National Ice Cream Cone Day. Hobbit Day. National Elephant Appreciation Day. I love elephants. Dear Diary Day. Oh, that should have been on uh, on Thursday. We have Dear John letters, but it was not. It's today. Uh, Car Free Day. So it's a day to walk. And American Business Women's Day. All of those things happening. And I've got a guest he was one of the Bradys. He was Peter. Christopher Knight! How yeah. cool is that? I'm excited to chat with him. We'll do that coming up in just a bit. It's more important now than ever before to have a better credit card. We would love to help at BetterCreditCards.com. We offer a variety of credit card options to fit your needs. Whether you want a card to give you cash back or points and perks or a credit card to help you build your credit, we can help you find a good fit for you at BetterCreditCards.com. Give yourself a little credit. Go ahead and switch to BetterCreditCards.com. That's BetterCreditCards.com. Now, surveys and studies and such brought to you by BetterCreditCards.com. New study says a man's neck size affects other other people's perception of his parenting skills. What? <laughs> Researchers, who did this study? Why, and why? University of Arkansas asked 305, uh, 305 male and female participants to look at four computer-generated images of the same man. Everything else was exactly the same except for their neck muscles. They rated the pictures from one through seven based on their perception of the man as a good fighter, interest in long and short-term mating, and effectiveness at protecting and nurturing offspring. The men with visibly larger neck muscles were perceived as more protective of offspring, but less nurturing and less interested in long-term relationships. All righty. <laughs> so, and that's if, important to know. If you happen to have a big neck, I just... <laughs> What prompted this study? Exactly. This is ridiculous. Somebody somewhere was like, you know what? I have an idea for a study. <laughs> All right. Surveys and studies and such brought to you by BetterCreditCards.com. Did you know you can allocate a percentage of your IRA to physical gold and silver with a tax-free rollover? You can put your IRA back on the gold standard. Genesis Gold IRA is the only IRA that can hold physical precious metals. Call now for your free gold and silver report and learn how to qualify for up to $10,000 in free silver. Genesis Gold IRA com would like to help you protect your IRA today with a simple phone call. Learn more and get the phone number at genesisgoldira.com. That's genesisgoldira.com. Did you know? Brought to you by genesisgoldira.com. Heidi, did you know a woman on TikTok revealed her easy hack to get rid of a migraine headache? I was telling you a little bit about this. Yes, you were. She says, I can get rid of your migraine with no side effects. In her video, she said she has been suffering from migraines, quote, forever and found relief by simply... Soaking her feet in hot water. Yeah. Apparently it works. Dr. Kunai Sood, an acute and chronic pain doctor from Maryland, reacted to the post saying, soaking your feet in hot water can help relieve you of aches without any side effects of medications. How? He explained that hot water helps to dilate blood vessels in your feet, which pulls blood from your head down to your feet. When that happens, the pressure in your head is eased. The clip went viral with over 3 million views. People flooded the comments saying, hey, I tried it. It worked. That's very cool. Here's the thing. Doctors everywhere would be prescribing this if they could charge you somehow for putting your feet (laughs) in hot water. I'm just saying. We don't know everything, but now we know this. Now, Big Screen, Little Screen, brought to you by InsuranceChicken.com. Academy Award nominee Rachel McAdams will make her Broadway debut next year. She was in The Notebook, she was in Mean Girls and many other things, but now she's going to be in Mary Jane on Broadway. Steven Spielberg and his wife have donated $1.5 million in support of the striking writers and actors. So that's kind of cool. A big long list of other people, many really cool people that are on this list who've donated money towards that. Yeah, that's cool. And the famous Brady Bunch house is finally off the market. HGTV 
had been trying to sell the North Hollywood property throughout the summer, and they made a deal for a cool $3.2 million. Wow. The new owner, wealthy home collector Tina Turan, saved a fortune off the home's original list price of $5.5 million. HGTV listed the home in May after buying it in 2018 for a series called A Very Brady Renovation. So I'm going to chat with Christopher Knight about that very thing coming up in just a little bit. Thanks for listening to The John and Heidi Show. Do you cringe when you get your mobile phone bill? Mint Mobile can help. Just $15 a month for premium wireless. Give your family a Mintervention. Mint Mobile makes it easy to switch. Get a new phone or bring your current phone to Mint Mobile. At Mintervention.com, you can see the current special offers from Mint Mobile. Offering premium wireless for just $15 a month. That is far less than most people are paying. Just $15 a month. Learn more now at Mintervention.com. That's Mintervention.com. Now your scoop of the day comes your way, courtesy of BetterCreditCards.com. Study says you should wait five years before making jokes about a major tragedy. I don't think you should ever make jokes about that. Like, I don't know anybody that has like a funny Pearl Harbor joke, and that's a long time ago. So I, I think major oh, I tragedies... Know some. You don't either. I just no, think I, it depends on how severe the tragedy. Yeah, I just don't think that that should even. There be a are topic. some tragedies. I'm not gonna. I'm gonna. Where's your that microphone? That it's never here? too I'm soon. I'm turning her microphone off right now. So, <laughs> all right. Hey, uh, you're from Iowa, right? Yes, I am. That's the only thing you have in common with this lady. 92 year old from Iowa had a 70 year dream fulfilled. This is really cool. I think we mentioned this. Uh, it was almost going to be my good news today, but I thought it would fit right here. So uh, a message that she had written on an egg. Did we talk about this? I don't think so. She was at a packing plant. It finally uh, has been responded to. Mary Foss and a few other girls that worked at the Forest City, Iowa plant decided to sign some of the eggs with their name and their hometown and send them off in different boxes that were going out that day. She wrote, whoever gets this egg, please write me. And then she put her name and her address and the date, April 2, 1951. On yeah. an egg? On an egg. A real egg. Yes, that was going out from the eggplant. Eventually, the story became a memory, but unbeknownst to Mary, her egg was found way back in the day, and it was kept for decades in his home, watched it petrify amidst his collection of antiques until his neighbor came across the egg while helping him find something in his collection. When the gentleman died, the egg languished for another 10 years what in a cabinet. Earth? And uh, eventually, a group called Weird and Wonderful Secondhand Finds, it just needs to be shared, it's on, on Facebook, they posted this, and they posted the story. Wonder if she might still be alive. I kept the egg safe and a pretty Art Deco English egg cozy. The comment section exploded that day, and somebody said, oh, I know her. I'm her niece. They arranged a telephone chat between the egg author and the current egg owner, Mary says she finally found a pen pal from New York. She worked on this since 1951. Who keeps an egg? That, well, it was, an actual it was, egg. It was signed. They thought it was kind of unique. And they're like, oh, that's kind of cool. And they just set it aside instead of cracking it open and making breakfast. So I think it was a neat story. Heidi, on the other hand, just rolled her eyes well, at me. Why wouldn't you just <laughs> jot that information down? <laughs> Who keeps an egg? <laughs> Scoop of the day comes your way, courtesy of BetterCreditCards.com. If you're looking for a new opportunity, South Dakota is calling. There's over 27,000 open jobs at this very moment. Whether you like the city life or if you're more of a fan of the rural lifestyle, South Dakota has plenty to offer. From the Black Hills and the Badlands on the west side of the state to the rolling prairies in the middle with many small towns and the city of Sioux Falls on the eastern edge, there's no state income tax in South Dakota and many job opportunities. Learn more about what's waiting for you in South Dakota at MoveToSD.com. That's MoveToSD.com. Thank you for listening to the John and Heidi Show on a Friday. Our guest today is from America's Favorite Blended Family. He was the middle son, by the way. I'm the middle son. I can relate. And we're going to talk about a film that he's got coming out. It's actually out right now. It's called True Love, the film. But I also want to start, Christopher Knight, by saying I think it's really cool that you guys did a very Brady renovation on HGTV. That turned out really, really cool. It was a hoot, man. Who would have expected, you know? I mean, it was 50 years after the fact. It's like a gift. It's like, a, you know, some kind of anniversary gift, remembrance gift that we gave ourselves. And, and um, you know, the house is, a, you know, the environment. Um, very important in 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 our in our in our history, not just for our fans, but to us. You know, the place that we 
showed up to work every day for, you know, five, not every day, but nearly every day for five years. And it disappeared, you know, it disappeared when the show disappeared into and to you know, it only existed in our in our minds, and then to be able to bring it back to life and actually give it an address was surreal and uh, and very rewarding. And of course, I didn't think it could be done, so I, I, you know, I was very impressed with our uh, yeah. our ability to shoehorn that thing in there. Well, you're actually really good at getting things done that other people can't get done. You've got a bunch of amazing programs. Some of these programs people don't even realize you're involved in. There's a new movie out right now called The Inventor. You helped put that together. And let's talk about this one. True Love, the film. I've seen the trailer for this. It looks absolutely amazing. And it's a documentary. Let's talk a little bit about this film and this young lady. And there was a magical quality about this girl. And Phil is a, Phil's original concept was to do a television series about this person who seemed to have the superpowers of, uh, of love and, and acceptance. And, and, and in a world that is terribly divided, you know, wherever she goes, the world is made a better place. Well, there was no place ultimately um, on the, you know, the, the schedules of networks and so forth. So it didn't work out as a series, but when we combined our forces to start the production company, he suggested it as maybe a documentary. I watched the videos that he had uh, originally watched, and I had to say, yeah, there, there, there was something magical about Sally True Love. Then we uh, flew out and visited, and that feeling only became greater upon meeting her. And I, too, thought that, that the world would be a better place if more people could be influenced by Sally True Love. So we then decided to produce this film. When we started the production, we intended it to be a, a production about this, this fabulous, charming young woman and her talents of, of bringing the world together. As it turned out, we also knew that she had Williams Syndrome, but we both didn't know what Williams Syndrome was, and as it would turn out, not anybody, or nearly anybody that we came in contact with knew what Williams Syndrome was. Um, and that would play important, uh, uh, an important role in how important then the movie became. Because we would discover that a lot of the qualities that we were impressed with in Cali were not just in Cali, but in others with Williams Syndrome. That the, the syndrome itself, because it is, it, it's a disorder of missing genes on chromosome 7. The individuals that have Williams Syndrome, by and large, a lot of them have this personality trait of this, this incredible social skills. It's almost like a superpower for them. Yeah, well, I, and, it's, and it's really, I would call it a superpower in light of the fact that we have all, as individuals who don't have weight, seem to be predisposed to not have it or not want to exercise a willingness to accept and understand or go to the length to try to understand those who are different than us. Um, uh, you know, we're turning off the love valve, if you will, as opposed to turning it up. Um, and it's a breath of fresh air to see how these individuals have no choice but to, but to, you know, sort of, it's like magic fairy dust around them that they create this, this goodwill. It reminds us as we watch it how much more we can do to make the world a better place. And that's the movie. And, uh, you know, ultimately when we decided, should we do this movie by Kelly? Her, her last name is True Love. This is not, <laughs> it's not just the name of a movie. It's her name, so it was like a sign. Yeah, we have to do this. I love it. As a result of doing it, we got to learn about a Williams Syndrome, and now the movie itself becomes a movie of awareness. I think we're all a little special need when it comes to showing kindness and brotherhood to our fellow man right now, and more specifically, the movie is uh, very impactful for those in the world of Williams and or any other disability. Christopher Knight has been our guest. The movie is called True Love, the film. I've got a link to it in the show notes for today at johnandheidyshow.com. It's more important now than ever before to have a better credit card. We would love to help at bettercreditcards.com. We offer a variety of credit card options to fit your needs. Whether you want a card to give you cash back or points and perks or a credit card to help you build your credit, we can help you find a good fit for you at bettercreditcards.com. Give yourself a lead. That's bettercreditcards.com. Fun fact for you, Heidi. What's that, John? The CIA once called an assassination team the Health Altercation Committee. Oh. Wow. 
<laughs> that's the, well, it's true. Uh, it is true. <laughs> Fun fact for you, Heidi. What's that, John? If you have metal fillings, chewing aluminum foil could generate up to two volts of electric current. <laughs> oh. Let's not do that. Fun fact for you, Heidi. What's that, John? 2015, a teenager by the name of Bud Weiser was arrested for trespassing at a brewery, a Budweiser brewery. <laughs> <laughs> that's kind of interesting. A fun fact for you, Heidi. What's that, John? In 1920, Babe Ruth out-homered every other American League team. One player out, out got more home runs than any other team. How crazy is that? That's pretty cool. Another fun fact for you, Heidi. What's that, John? The first man to survive a fall off of Niagara Falls in a barrel died after slipping on an orange peel later. <laughs> Isn't that crazy? <laughs> Several fun facts. Now you know. Thanks for listening to The John and Heidi Show. Did you know you can allocate a percentage of your IRA to physical gold and silver with a tax-free rollover? You can put your IRA back on the gold standard. Genesis Gold IRA is the only IRA that can hold physical precious metals. Call now for your free gold and silver report and learn how to qualify for up to $10,000 in free silver. GenesisGoldIRA.com would like to help you protect your IRA today with a simple phone call. Learn more and get the phone number at GenesisGoldIRA.com. That's GenesisGoldIRA.com. Time now for the Mint Mobile question of the day. Comes your way, courtesy of Mintervention.com. Question for you, Heidi. Uh, about half of us say we do not want our significant other to do this for us in bed. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to just tell you the answer. <laughs> She's my significant other. I don't think I want to know the list. She pulled out a very big list. Service breakfast. So about half of us don't um, want... Do you like it when I bring you breakfast You know, I like it. It's very, very sweet. Mm-hmm. But the smoke alarm wakes me up. <laughs> <laughs> ah, she's not lying. Thanks for listening to the John and Heidi Show. Do you cringe when you get your mobile phone bill? Mint Mobile can help. Just $15 a month for premium wireless. Give your family a Mintervention. Mint Mobile makes it easy to switch. Get a new phone or bring your current phone to Mint Mobile. At Mintervention.com, you can see the current special offers from Mint Mobile, offering premium wireless for just $15 a month. That is far less than most people are paying. Just $15 a month. Learn more now at Mintervention.com. That's Mintervention.com. Now, some weird news brought to you by WeirdGiftOfTheDay.com. I may finally have found my true calling, Heidi, lying down and doing absolutely nothing. A Laziest Citizen contest in Montenegro has been going on for almost four weeks and there's still a handful of participants in the running for the championship. Maybe running isn't the right word because there's none of that. Those still involved in the contest are still happily lying on mats, reading, scrolling on their phones, really not doing much of anything else. The contest was launched in a tiny country 12 years ago as a way of mocking a popular myth that Montre- Montenegrins, I don't know how you say it, are a lazy bunch. According to the organizer, the owner of the resort where the contest is held is the organizer. Uh, at last check, the seven remaining contestants from starting field of 21 have been lying down for 463 hours. The winner will be awarded 1,000 euros. That's like 1,070 U.S. dollars. The rules stipulate that standing or sitting are grounds for immediate disqualification, but contestants are allowed 10 minutes every eight hours to use the restroom. So... Every that, eight hours. Yeah, that wow. explains, because I was thinking, how in the world? Right. Weird News, brought to you by WeirdGiftOfTheDay.com. John and Heidi. Time now for the list, brought to you by BetterCreditCards.com. As we continue through the list from Vroom, 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 the world's top 120 cities with funny names. Do you have a favorite so far? No. Okay. Uh, how about today? Greasy, Oklahoma. Greasy. That's kind of a fun name. That is fun. George... Washington. So oh, how a, cute yeah, is that? Cool. Humpty Do, Australia. <laughs> Humpty Do. Hygiene, Colorado. Okay. Inalu, Australia. Inalu. So that's like in the that's bathroom. That's hilarious. Um, what else do we have here? Uh, Punky Doodles Corners, Canada. How cute Punky is that? Punky Doodles Corners, Canada. Um, how about this one? Sexy Santa Cruz, Peru. S E X I. Okay. Sexy Santa Cruz, Peru. So, and then we'll do one more. Embarrass, Minnesota. Okay. Embarrass, Minnesota. So, those are the silly, 
Names. I gotta say, I love George Washington. I thought that's pretty cool. Yeah. We're gonna maybe wrap this up soon. Thanks for listening to The John and Heidi Show. If you're looking for a new opportunity, South Dakota is calling. There's over 27,000 open jobs at this very moment. Whether you like the city life or if you're more of a fan of the rural lifestyle, South Dakota has plenty to offer. From the Black Hills and the Badlands on the west side of the state to the rolling prairies in the middle with many small towns and the city of Sioux Falls on the eastern edge, there's no state income tax in South Dakota and many job opportunities. Learn more about what's waiting for you in South Dakota at MoveToSD.com. That's move to SD.com. Time now for the quote of the day comes your way, courtesy of insurancechicken.com. Cullen Hightower said, laughing at our mistakes can lengthen our own life. Laughing at someone else's can shorten it. <laughs> <laughs> I've been there and done that. Have you ever done that where you laugh at something and later you're like, oh, I probably shouldn't have laughed about that. Where somebody like slips and falls and you laugh. <laughs> Everything I laugh at is something I've, I probably I was going to say, I've been there with you when you've done that. You just never felt bad. That's the problem. <laughs> That's exactly the problem. <laughs> wow. Thanks for listening to The John and Heidi Show. John and Heidi. This portion of The John and Heidi Show is brought to you by The John and Heidi Show. That sounds kind of funny, but it's true. Go to your local radio station and ask them to start carrying The John and Heidi Show. Here's the best part. They can carry the show for free. They play a couple commercials, but it doesn't cost them anything every month. So if you know a radio station that could use a little bit of help, send them our way. Send them to johnandheidyshow.com. Again, johnandheidyshow.com. We would love to do a radio program in your community. Then you could listen to the podcast and listen to us on the radio. John and Heidi. We always like to wrap things up around here with good news. And I think this is good news. It comes your way, courtesy of genesisgoldira.com. I love this story. Listen to the headline. 12-year-old hero saves drowning man using CPR learned from the TV show Stranger Things. Oh, Isn't that cool? That is cool. Austin McMillan is 12. He's in Florida. Recently demonstrated remarkably quick thinking and bravery when he saved a man from drowning. He attributes his life-saving skills to learning CPR from the popular Netflix series Stranger Things. One day while swimming in a pool with his behavioral therapist, Jason Paquette, the situation took a dangerous turn. Paquette decided to test his ability to hold his breath underwater for an extended period of time. He pushed the limits to an alarming extent. Austin witnessed this risky experiment and became concerned. He recounted, he was underwater for like six minutes. Jeez. I knew that was way too long. He shouldn't be doing that. He said, I think I lost consciousness in like 30 seconds. I'm not really sure why. Fortunately, a surveillance camera at the pool captured the critical moment that Austin realized something was wrong, and he didn't hesitate. He swam over, quickly brought him to safety in a shallower part of the pool, rushed out of the water to call for assistance, a ring camera recorded Austin sprinting outside, urgently seeking help. And he said, I saw on TV on Stranger Things, and I thought after I, I called for help, I'll give him CPR. And then he woke up a few minutes later. That's cool awesome. That? What a you cool can, story. Yeah, you can see the video of this young man saving his older friend's life. The video is in the show notes for today. There's a link to it in the show notes for today at johnandheidyshow.com. How crazy is that? That's crazy. I think that's neat. And I'm trying to think of when that would have been in Stranger Things. Now, Heidi didn't watch Stranger Things with me, so I'd usually watch it on my own after she went to bed, and I would usually fall asleep. So I probably missed that part. <laughs> so I'm going to have to go back and watch it again now. Time to say goodbye, Heidi. Goodbye, Heidi. Goodbye, everybody. Have a great day. Thanks for listening to The John and Heidi Show.